Hello and good morning. It's nearly midday, but never mind. Still morning. I'm gonna. Well, first of all, I've just cut this with the cylinder, and I'm now in a position to put some uh, galactic green on to elevate it to the next level. And uh, this is where we get really, really great results. So I'm going to spray this now. It's all mixed. It's on my back. My lance is ready to go. So I'm going to get that on. And then I'm going to come back about two o'clock. Well, one o'clock actually, when the uh, sun's at its highest and the shadow's gone. And you'll have seen it kicked in already. So uh, I really look forward to showing you this. So uh, wish me luck. So that's just sprayed on. I did actually mix the uh, application of bio boosting because that was due. Um, so I think there's a bit of a change already, but that would just be the, the kind of the wart sitting on the leaf, just giving it a little sparkle, but it does work pretty quick. Um, so yeah, so I'm off to do a few more jobs. It's just about 12 o'clock. So I'll be back in an hour or so. And once that shadow's gone, it'll be looking uh, swell. So join me then. Right, so I'm back. It's quarter to one. Sun's out fully, looks absolutely beautiful, absolutely fantastic. Bit of background noise, very busy road today, but uh, yeah, looks magnifique. How's about that? Now, we just took on a new customer last week and she got me from the job you've just seen on the uh, the job on the hill with the slope at the top um, and asked me would I come and have a look. Uh, it's actually uh, Paddy McInnes' old house, the first one he built. But I'm not going to show you because I don't uh, show your people's houses, especially when they're like this, you know, because obviously it's massive. Um, but he obviously didn't put any attention to the garden really, or the quality of turf that he put down. The house was built in 2010, and then he moved from here and then bought, uh, built another one not so far away. And now I think he lives in Cheshire somewhere, I believe. Um, but so there's scope for a new lawn maybe in the future, but I wanted to take this one on because I wanted to test my skills at what it would be like to take on a lawn which wasn't very good as this one is we've got a lot of weed grasses you know what can i do with them i told her first thing i said was i can't i can't turn water into wine unfortunately as much as most people think i can but you can't so you can only cope with what you've got it gets very wet in this area where i'm uh, pointing now it's dried out nicely from last week so i think we could do something so what i'm going to do today is cut it I'm going to do some double stripes, so I've got my spraying guide and I'm going to put some weed killer on and some moss killer and then we're just going to look after it in terms of mowing it for the next four weeks because I can't really do anything for four weeks because I put the praxis on, the weed killer uh, and then so we'd like end of June we shall get it scarified and top dressed and seeded and then let's see what we can do with this one and like I say hopefully in the you know, next year or in the winter maybe we can try and get them to have a a, re, a read on because they are keen to have a nice lawn but appreciate also that it, it's not going to happen with this lawn so I can't do anything at the moment because I'm just too busy with other things but uh, it's definitely one that would look amazing. I've got a few mature trees which they'd have to care to factor in for but there's a bit of a corner there which hasn't got any lawn in it so that, that that's already been kind of catered for so we wouldn't have a problem with water dripping on the lawn off the leaves but obviously need leaf clearance in the winter but uh generally it's a, a nice lawn it must get plenty of sun because there's a rhododendron thriving over there um so yeah drainage is good generally so i'm uh, looking forward to seeing what we can do with it and might inspire people out there who haven't who think they haven't got a nice lawn who can uh, they can actually achieve a, a good lawn with what they've got and that's what I'm trying to do as well as obviously my like, exceptional ones so let's uh, let's crack on and get it cut and let's see what it looks like after right so I've just double cut it basically just for guidelines lovely little guidelines for my sprayer they're generally 
that wide, my swath of my sprayer. So it's perfect, so I know exactly where I've been. Anyone who sprays without any kind of guidelines is is uh, pushing the luck a little bit. Um, I know I did at Steve's job, but that's because I didn't have any really, other than uh, my single strikes and my little sprayer, but I think I got away with it. Just, maybe not. Um, so it looks like it doesn't look too bad, does it? Bit of red thread knocking about in the areas where it's not been fed, which is the whole thing. So the red thread's all over. But I'm not going to bother treating that because we're going to be scarifying it and that, so we'd just be wasting the money. And we don't do that here, we don't waste people's money. Um, so I'm going to spray it. I've got some weed killer in the backpack, some Praxis, which is the weed killer, just putting a name to it, and just some soluble iron, nothing else. And that should uh, that should do us here. And then that'll just be a weekly cutting then to, for four weeks, and then we'll get on with the scarifying. So, um, what is it today? Every time we do a video, let me know, planes or helicopters. So, uh, yeah, let's get it on. No, this is a lawn you've never seen before. Maybe on Twitter if you followed me on there. But uh, generally, I don't broadcast this one. But I'm going to start. Good lawns come in many forms. This one I turfed five years ago with Turf Classic. It is good stuff, but it's just over time, it's just got full of weed grasses and, and stuff like that that all over you know this kind of stuff you know it is a pain but fed it with the rigby taylor stuff last week and it's come up trumped you know even though we've got all these weed grasses it looks amazing to me anyway you look at the color is this not a good lawn are you are you unhappy because you've got all this you know yeah it's a bit of a pain but it's still a great lawn and you could have it don't be disheartened if you've got like weed grasses because you could still have a nice green lawn and most people just want a nice green lawn. That's that's what they want, that's what they're after. You can see there how bad it is, but yeah, it still looks really nice. So um, yeah, just keep, keep on doing what you're doing and thou shall prevail. I mean, this is my most favorite part of the garden, actually. Look at that Acer, and that just a beauty. When I started here seven years ago, this area all here not that border didn't exist this was just full of roses horrible dog rose weeds ash saplings there was a big um i can't think of the name of it a big um laburnum but the uh the big storm three or four years ago in february blew it over which created a big space there oh and there used to be a massive pine tree which went all the way up there and we had that chopped down. I like chopping trees down. <laughs> legally, mind, legally, we got permission. Um, and then like here was just the border around here. So when I turfed it, I made that like the centerpiece and left that in and then put this like little pathway in here to lead you onto the garden from the gate. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I planted that acer there. I planted that Acuba japonica variegata. See, I know my plants as well. That's from when I used to work at the nursery. Pyrus, Texas Bacata, uh, Grizzolino, uh, just a Grizzolino, that one. Uh, that's not an Aurea because it's not got the variegated leaf. Beach Hedge, Fagus sylvatica from Myascore, the tree identification. That's a Rabinia frizzia. You've got a laurel there, Prunus, Lauroceracus rotundifolia. Uh, you've got Acer, which is uh, an Acer palmatum, that one. Another Texas Bacato over there, that's the common you. Cotoniasters, Bucks Hedge, Bucks to Sempervirens. Yeah, I've still got a bit of plant knowledge as well. Um, I did, I used to have a much more broader, broader um, identification memory, but because obviously I don't really deal with plants anymore. I have lost a few, but the the common ones I do. I still remember when I was on the first part of my training was at Myersco and Bolton College, and the Bolton Wanderers groundsman, now head groundsman, now Chris Samey, he was on the course as well. He's still at Wanderers. Um, I'm obviously still doing what I do, uh, and we had some weed ident's to do. Ten weeds, ten common weeds to do. And I, you'd have to ask him if he still knows them. 
but I remember getting them all right. Uh, there's dandelion, which is Taraxicum officinale, uh, dock leaf, which is uh, Rumex obtusifolius, uh, buttercup, ranunculus repens, herbivitacress, cardamine hirsuta. Uh, what else was the uh, groundsel, which is Senecio vulgaris. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What are the other common common weeds? I can't think off the top of my head what they were. But uh, oh, there was um, Stellari media, which is a chickweed that was on there. I still remember them. And the tree ident. You know, I don't have to. Uh, just something stick in your mind. Definitely. So I could uh, spill you off all the tree Latin names as well. So why don't you test me? Uh, Hannibal Lecter came to mind then uh, when, I, when I said test me um, but now I won't be eating any uh, any liver with some uh, father beans so uh, yes I just thought I'd show you this one and anyway, share some of my knowledge so um, sun shining at last so this is a beautiful garden to be in at this time like three four o'clock winds died down and this is one of my favorite gardens actually because they're really nice people to work for the best make brews, bring out biscuits, you know, and they chat to you just like normal person, like a friend, you know. Some customers in the past haven't done that and they're not the ones you really want to work for because you just feel like you're not really valued. But all my customers now are really valued and the class them all as friends and uh, it's great. So, uh, yeah, just look at that ace, isn't that just a beaut? Isn't that just a beautiful, you know, I probably don't concentrate on plants as much as I should really, but when you see them in the sun and in full bloom, you do realise why you got into landscaping and horticulture in the first place. Because, you know, you can build a house and or decorate, I think I've said it before, decorate your front room and sit back and go, yeah, it looks great that, but it doesn't, it doesn't marry up to this. It, it doesn't, I don't think it gives you the same satisfaction as, a well maintained planted garden when it's in full full bloom and everything's everything's right and a great lawn always sets off a nice garden as well and that's what we've got here so uh that's me done for today so uh i will see you soon oh no actually i'm not done because i'm gonna just have a drive past the galactic job which i've uh, done so i'll probably edit that first and you'll have seen that first but i'm heading there now but you'll see it before you you read this or listen to this and we'll see how that's uh looking but i think it's going to be looking smart really green really really green so i'll see you there so it's half past four i've just nipped back to see how it's getting on and i think there's a big color change myself it's, it's not so visible when the sun's out this time but when the sun was just in a second ago it's funny isn't it when i want it in it comes out and when i want it out it goes in uh, oh, there you go, it's dropping again. So you can see how, how uh, much of a deeper green it is. And that's the galactic effect. Now tomorrow, this will be absolutely beautiful. Even more so. So I'll come back tomorrow and give you another glimpse. But until then, that's me done. Right, it is getting on for 7 o'clock. Thursday the 26th or 7th I don't even know what day it is that's how busy I've been I don't even know what day it is so I've just put the final edgings in and we've just got enough soil I've had to drag some from other areas but that's all right because they're a bit high in some places um, now I did want to show you that technique and I will do but uh, a good friend of the uh, YouTube lawn channel um, a brilliant a good friend bought me a a little gift, a little thank you gift just for all the help I've uh, been giving him and it was a, a microphone, a wireless microphone so I want to um, get that set up but I had to order some parts for it um, so it would fit in my iPhone you need like a special jack so I've got that now so I can set that up and um, I can put this on a tripod and show you what to do without having to shout or not be heard uh, but yeah great gesture I think He's tapping me up for my liver with him out he drinks, watching my videos. So um, you're not having it, if that's what you're thinking. But um, if that means you have to send it back, no chance. It's too good. So um, yes, yeah, so hopefully that will be in the next few days. The 
um, the seed locked in the shed and I can't access it. Um, so I'm going to have to wait to see it. I might as well just do a video next week and uh, we can seed and t um, she all in one video. How's that? So um, join me then. Good night.